interesting morning to you, friends. Welcome to another episode of We Reflect series. I am your faith friend, Madeline, and today is a good day to reflect on the gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 2, verses 23 to 28. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever violated or disobeyed a rule or law in your life? Be it a school rule, a house rule, or even the rules set by the bosses in your workplace? If yes, then what was your reason for such violation? I know that there is something or someone that made you do such act of disobedience. In the Gospel for today, the Pharisees continue to criticize Jesus for doing something that is unlawful to do during Sabbath. No panahon ng ating Panginoong Jesus, itinuturing ng mga pariseyo ang Sabbath o araw ng tahinga bilang isang sagradong araw kung saan kinakailangan mong magdasal at magpapuri sa Panginoon. Ano mang gawain maliban dito gaya ng pagtatrabaho, pagkain, or pag-ino ay may higpit na ipinagbabawal. Kung kaya nga nung makita nila na hinayaan ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang mga alagad na kumain, kahit pa araw ng pahinga, ay agad silang nagali. Agad nilang kinumpronta si Jesus. Subalit, bakit nga ba sinuway ni Jesus ang isang utos kahit alam naman niya na mahigpit na ipinagbabawal ang paglabag dito? There's only one reason for it. Jesus violated the religious norm for the greater good of the people he loves. He did it so that it could serve a greater and a nobler purpose. And in the gospel for today, that greater and nobler purpose is to feed the hungry stomachs of his disciples. Siyempre, tayong mga tao, natural sa atin na kapag tayo nagugutom, tayo ay hahanap ng makakain. At kung tayo nauuhaw, tayo ay hahanap ng maiinom. Subalit, ano nga bang itinuturo ng ating Panginoon sa senaryo ito? Jesus teaches us that humans are more important than laws, and human needs such as food is far more important than any other law. Religious norms or laws are good because it teaches us to be obedient and disciplined. However, if these rules serve as hindrance for people to celebrate life, then sometimes it's okay to go against the rule. Sa ating ebanghelyo din ngayong araw na ito, tayo ay binibigyan ng Diyos ng dalawang pagbibilian. Ang paggawa ng tama o ang paggawa ng mabuti. Medyo mahirap magtimbang sa dalawang options na ito, ba? Pero lagi natin isipin na hindi lahat ng tama ay nakabubuti. Subalit lahat ng bagay na nakabubuti sa ating kapwa ay nagiging tama sa panin ng ating Panginoon. Kaya ikaw, Anong pipiliin mo? Ang maging tama o ang maging mabuti? Handa ka bang maging suwain, paminsan-minsan, alang-alang sa kapakanan na nakararami? So that's all for today, faith friends. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, faithbook.ph. You can also download the app for free at Google Play Store and App Store. Thank you for watching and keep God first!